how to instantiate the object and how to use properties and methods. But first, let us uh, theoretically understand how these things work. Methods are another type, uh, another type of similar thing in inside object-oriented world. So when we create a function in in a procedural sense, when we create an independent function in a procedural uh, programming, we actually call it uh, using the function keyword in PHP. But when we try to create that exact same function inside a class declaration, we call it a method. A method is similar to a function. It's actually a function, but it's built inside the class. Now, methods have two different types. You can, in two different instances, a method can act, uh, I mean, differently. One of the methods, which are known as the magic methods, always start with two underscore symbols. So these methods are actually provided by the library of PHP. So they come built in with your uh, IDEs. So for our development purpose, for our example purpose, we will be using the NetBeans ID. I guess it's the 6.8, the current version. You can get it uh, free on the internet, just download it. And I guess I don't need to show that because I'm assuming you are already uh, you already have a working knowledge in procedural programming especially in PHP so that's why we are moving to an advanced part of PHP programming that and we call it as object-oriented now when we talk about these methods or this magic methods they are actually methods that do certain type of stuff that is not usually done by custom-made methods and they're provided by the core library of PHP. An interface is nothing more than a function declaration, but in, it's a, a function declaration inside uh, a class. But these methods don't have any functionalities. If you have created a function before in procedural approach in PHP, then you would have seen that uh, following the function keyword, you need to define the name of the function, then inside brackets you need to define the parameters that it will take and and after that following that parameters you need to define all the functionalities inside curly braces but when we talk about interfaces they are actually method signature that without any functionality what we do in here is that we just define that method with the name and parameters we do not use any curly braces to define the functionality we'll be looking at that example shortly so let us first uh, fire up our IDE or the editor NetBeans so this is the 6.8 the current version and let us create the first time it approaches is uh, it gives us this welcome screen or the start page so the first thing that we need to do is to create um, a project. So this project will help us to create namespaces, they will help us to create interfaces. So just by clicking on this file you can uh, bring up this new project or just simply click on this yellow folder with the addition symbol. So when you hover over this, click over uh, this uh, symbol and you'll get this new project dial a box. This window it shows us what what it can support so let us pick up PHP and we are going to um, create a PHP project so this might be a PHP application this is this will be a full-fledged application we'll be using examples of, uh, to create uh, this application so click next and choose the version of PHP that you want so the latest version I think is actually the 5.6 or something like that but I don't know why NetBeans didn't update that maybe it's not stable so nonetheless let's uh, check this PHP 5.1 and we need to create a project name so your project name when you create that will show up on this left hand side of uh, your IDE 
now let's uh, name this um, let's name this themes we let's try to relate it with some realistic examples like uh, I'll be sh I'll be creating another uh, tutorial on how to create WordPress themes uh, using PHP using SAS and your um, uh, and angular JS so let's actually have some sort of relation with uh, realistic examples um, in uh, let's have a realistic relation with our uh, themes and CMSs so after you create this project name or you can define where you need to save that look I'll be saving it inside the NetBeans directory and that's all I guess and uh, so um, yeah let's create it here um, let's create a, let me create another folder for this I think I made a mistake. Let's rename this and let's name this as themes. Okay, and let's open this. Let's name our project as themes too. And let me click next. Uh, we can actually, this is the source file and we'll need to change the uh, application file and we'll be running this on our local server I'm actually using the XAMPP server um, so you can also use MAMP which is for the MacBook or the OS X or you can also use WAMP if you're on Windows but I prefer XAMPP because it has it, it's uh, updated software it, you can use it on both MacBooks and on Windows systems. So let's copy this to another lo location, and I'm actually uh, I'll be copying it inside. Um, I'll copy it actually later. So uh, okay, and let's click next. If we if you want to use the Symfony PHP framework, then you can. Do all the you can set all these parameters, but I'm um, I will actually not use them. So let's click finish, and hence our themes been created. So inside our themes folder and our source file, we don't have any PHP file. To to create that PHP file after you have created your project, you need to uh, select this new file. We are going to create a new PHP class. Um, because uh, I'll be using this PHP class file after I explain how to create that class but let's create an empty uh, PHP file the description below tells you what sort of files they are so if you click on this PHP file it tells you that it's a it's an empty PHP file if you click on this class it's a class declaration file then on interface it's an empty PHP interface we'll be looking all uh, will be looking into all of this but first let's look into a PHP empty file so um, let's actually create a simple one a simple example let's start with a simple example so uh, let's call it um, posts so okay and uh, it will be situated inside our themes project and you can see the path of this themes project and the posts.php file and let's finish this off now you see your id provides you with an empty screen an empty php script so these are all the comments i guess you know that and your php needs to start with this tags if you're trying to create a wordpress theme the word uh, wordpress convention tells us that we need to use the full tag php recently um, sh uh, uh, it has introduced uh, a short naming convention or something like this we used only the uh, uh, 
it's lesser than symbol followed by this question mark and we try to end it with a question mark with a greater than symbol but in some cases especially if you're trying to create a theme for a professional theme for your for a marketplace you need to if you if you want to sell that in a marketplace if you want to sell a WordPress stream theme or a Drupal theme or uh, or maybe you want to sell uh, a Joomla template then you need to in some cases use this PHP the full tag abbreviation because some of the engines don't support the short terms uh, shorter terminologies now let's remove all this part and the first thing that we're going to look at is a class declaration a class declaration always starts with a class keyword you can actually see that appearing in here so this starts with a class keyword now we need to provide a name let's provide something like post output and hence unlike functions don't think that the fun in functions what we do is that we provide another parenthesis then it's being followed by curly braces but in class declaration this is invalid that's why our ID tells us this is not expected so we need to uh, erase this off now we get a correct syntax because after the class declaration after we uh, provide the name of the class it is followed by curly braces and it does not take any parameter uh, like functions so we have created a class a space to create our plan as a space for an architect to draw his plan so let's actually see how to create properties first properties as we have discussed are like uh, variables there are they are actually variables but they are a little different we can use x uh, access modifiers so we'll be talking about all the access modifiers but let us first create a variable let us create a simple one public posts and let's initialize it to null value and let us end this with um, okay this is a variable and you need to provide that dollar sign in here for the ID to recognize that this is a variable so we have created our first property so this property as you can see it's quite similar to variables but we added a new thing called public this is called the access modifier we'll be talking about access modifier but first you need to understand what this is this in programming uh, in object oriented sense is a property so this property as we have seen earlier it can be used uh, it can be referred to using this uh, using the this keyword in a class or object scope. 